most of the Asus laptops have a pre-installed program called Asus Battery Health Charging. In recent laptops, this feature is integrated in my Asus application itself. Using this feature, users can set charging threshold to 60% when they use it on AC power. Laptops will maintain 60% charge when connected to AC power. This feature reduces laptops heating and improves performance. But most important of all, it extends the life of the battery. Although it's a great feature to have, it is limited to Windows OS only. So users will want to shift to Linux OS like Ubuntu, Linux Mint, elementary OS etc. for better performance or due to some other regions will face a great disappointment. In a way, it will discourage users to use Linux on their Asus laptops. Even though there is no official support by Asus for Linux operating systems, there is an easy way to enable Asus battery health charging in Linux operating systems. In this video, I will be discussing the whole process to enable it. I have tested this process on latest versions of Ubuntu and other Ubuntu based OSs like Kubuntu, Lubuntu, Zubuntu, Linux Mint, Pop OS, Elementary OS and Zorin OS. Now let's get into this process. But before we begin, be sure that your system is up to date. If not, then run the command shown in the screen in your terminal. Here I am using Linux Mint 20. Now let's check out the files that control the charging process of the laptop. So we go to files, system partition, then sys class power supply. Here you'll see folders like BAT0 or BAT1. Some Asus laptops come with BAT0 folder while others with BAT1. So do take a note of the folder you have in your system. It will be needed later on. Here as you can see I have BAT1 folder. If you open it, you will find the file charge control and threshold. Basically, this is the file that controls charging threshold of the laptop. If you open it with a text editor, you can see the value is 100. This means currently the charging threshold is set at 100%. And we need to change it to 60% to enable Asus Health Charging. Now let's check out the process to do the same. Now let's start the terminal and open the commands file. This first command will edit the charge control end threshold file and change its value to 60. Here if you have bat0 folder then you have to change it to bat0. Now let's run the command. Type the admin password. It has been changed to 60. Now let's go to the file and confirm it. Yeah it has been changed. But this is temporary. After reboot, it will revert back to 100. So to make it permanent, we need to add command to the startup process. For that, we need to edit the crontab file which can initiate tasks at different instances. We'll add the command to be run at reboot. So here is the line we need to add. Now we need to open the crontab file with root privileges. For that we need to run either of these commands. 
First one is for Linux Mint as it contains XCD text editor and gedit is the text editor for Ubuntu based Linux operating systems. Now let's run the command. It opens the text editor in admin mode. Now we can edit and save the crontab file. Now let's copy the command to the end of the crontab file. It will run at reboot with root privileges. Now let's add some comments for its identification. If you have bat0 folder then you have to change it to bat0. Now we save it. Now let's manually check the crontab file which is in system etc for a final confirmation. And yeah, it is very much there. Let's close it. Now you can run Linux OS on your SS laptop without any issue of heating and battery degradation. The settings will persist even after reboot. If required, you can change battery threshold percentage by editing the line in crontab file. Also the follow along guide is available on our website www.osbusters.net and all the commands used here is provided in the description below. So this is it for today. Do hit the like button if this video helped you. We'll meet you again with some other interesting videos till then.